You are now watching Scandalous Internet News. The only news organization to bring you real street racing news. And now, Peter and Gus. Let me call you back. We're in the middle of the newscast. Pete's annoying me again, yeah. It's my mom, man. Good evening. I'm Peter. And I'm Gus. And welcome to a live edition of Scandalous <laughs> Internet News. That was acting like a clown, man. Continue the newscast. Yeah, tell us that you hate. Next time we're not going to bring you We're live. Anyhow, we're live here at Thunder Valley Raceway in Noble, Oklahoma, promoting for next week's Scandalous Street Wars event. The track looks like it's hooking good. The guys look like they're ready. Absolutely. A lot of people are looking to take a crack at Ryan Woon, Arizona Scandalous Street Wars winner. They said that this is 10 and a half inch tire country, so they said you better be ready and better come with more than you have in Arizona. There's also another crew, wide open throttle out of Oklahoma City. They're looking for a certain guy named Easy Money. They said they're going to street race you. Listen. This is Dave, he's kind of shy. He's from Wide Open Throttle out of Oklahoma City. Uh, we heard that you're looking to race a certain guy. Easy money. Why easy? He's a man, ain't he? What's the race, gonna be heads up, or what are you looking to do? Heads up on the street. What do you gotta say to easy? He's looking at this now. Um, come on down, let's see what you got. All right, easy, that, that, you gotta bring that shit from New Lenox all the way down to Oklahoma, try some new action here. And uh, this guy's waiting for you. Bring it. That's it. Here's Bob, another one of this uh, crew here. What do you think about the fact that in uh, Arizona, an import won the 10-5 class? Uh, that's probably a bullshit deal. You ran 920. Sounds like the 10-5 guys need to get their shit together. Well, he's thinking of go, coming here. Go over there and, and talk to Mike G and see if his 10-5 car runs in 920s. Well, he's thinking of coming here to defend his title. Bring that shit up here. <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get his rice smoked for him. What import it is? Bring it in here. Rice! rice. That's all I gotta say. What was that? Fried rice. So what do you think about him trying to defend his title here in, uh, in Oklahoma? Uh, he's got a uh, slim chance. Very, very slim chance. He ran 920. Should he come here from Arizona and waste his gas? No. He's, he's wasting his time. This guy's tire just came off completely off his car. Check it out. We're here with this guy and he's named after a vegetable for some reason. Pumpkin or something like that. Why do they call you pumpkin? Uh, my favorite color is orange. Are you guys coming out to class race or street race? We're all about street racing around here. Just get down and dirty, whatever. Whatever we can get. What do you think about the track allowing us to do it the real way? Street style, spot out cars, do whatever we need to do here at the track and also having out of towners come in to race. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it it keeps the, the the BS out of it, you know, from on the street getting tickets, getting arrested, getting your crap impounded, you know. We're still gonna talk shit though. Oh, unreal shit, dude. I'm down for. I'm the biggest shit talker around here. I am known as I can stir up shit with the worst of them. I'm, I'm I'll talk shit. I've had my ass whooped for talking shit. I mean, I got some some local friends, you know. I mean, uh, that that avoided Z guy, you know. He's he's about some uh, some arrogant shit talking, but you know. I, well, avoided is right here. Avoided. He said you talk a lot of shit. I can back it up though. I don't have to worry about it. Well, come here. Let me introduce you here to Pumpkin. Pumpkin, this is avoided. What's up, man? You got it. Heads so up anytime you want it, kid. Anytime any, you want. Anytime, huh? Man, I, I ain't scared. I mean, I ain't scared to race nobody. I mean. Little broke, little broke Oklahoma boy, you know, scared to lose some money, but that's all right. I, I, we can figure out something. Basically, say he's gonna clip your nuts. <laughs> he ain't clipping shit, dude. You better bring your A game, your B game, and your C game for me. I got enough. <laughs> Jeff Holloway from Holloway Race Cars, correct? Yes. Tell me a little bit about uh, what your thoughts are about uh, what, what we're trying to do with bringing the, the fast street cars to let them street race at the track. I, a good idea. I mean, you know, the problem is, is the dangerous part of being on the track. You got cars, 900, 1,000, 1,000 horsepower, and the street just not the place to do it. You know, uh, you got a nice even race. You don't have to worry about cars coming off side street stuff. 
the tracks were to do it at. If you can keep the illegal setting kind of thing going on, you know, to where it's the, the no clocks on, you know, show up, make your bet, make your deal, you know, especially if you can set up where you got three car links, somebody gets a jump, that kind of stuff. It's the same thing. It's no different. You're just doing it at a place where it's safe. We also got Chicago guys, Dallas guys, possibly Houston and Oklahoma guys meeting at one track for street supremacy. Well, your problem is the Texas guys because they think they're the best at everything. So, you know, I mean, you get that problem taken care of, you know, you'll be okay. We don't much like people from Chicago around here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. It, you know, it's the North versus the South kind of thing. And, it, you know, especially Chicago's been known for the street racing deal for 20 years now. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's, that's kind of where all of this fast street car stuff even kind of started at, as I remember, you know, back in the day. So, you know, they kind of feel like those Chicago guys got a hand up on everybody because they've just been doing it longer than everybody else. Well, hopefully we'll see some of the Mako guys after they run the class. And I, I guess you're predicting a win for the Mako guys. Well, I, I'm not I'm not going to predict anything. I We've got some, if, if we got some good Mako cars show up, we've got some cars that will run low eights on 28105 tires. Well, we hope to see your guys. I hope your guy I hope my guys will be there and clean up and take your money from you. How much money is this paying anyway? Guaranteed 2000. Yeah, they'll show up for that kind of money. Oklahoma was awesome, but uh time to go back to Chicago. See you there. Now close that door. <laughs> <laughs>